Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be painting Go Ahead, Make My Day, which is a piece of school artwork. This is a grayscale portrait we're doing today. So the pieces that we're gonna to need to do this project today is gonna to be airbrush side of things. We've got the Creos range, so we can use the PS771, which is 0.18 mil for the fine detail. And then for the background, getting that paint down, we've got the PS298, which is a 0.5 mil on the trigger control. That's got a fan cap, so it can really get that coverage down on the back. So that's the airbrush side of things sorted. Moving over to this side, we've got the paints that we're gonna to use today. So we're using the Golden High Flow Acrylic range. And I've also got some pre-mixed on the grayscale value finder here so we've got the one to ten mixed up so we can use them on this grayscale today we've got a couple of artist brushes if we need to go in and paint some little bits in we've got some posca paint pens these are the 0.7 mil fine tip so any dot highlights and things like that we can use these we've also got a eraser tool for getting the textures in on this school we can just knock and manipulate the paint back with these eraser tools cleaning side of things paper towel nice and easy i've got a bottle of water and a bottle of thinners so we can do the flush throughs in the airbrush as we're using the water-based acrylics we can just flush through with water and then if we get any stubborn paint along the way we've got the thinners we can just drop that in give the brush a good clean out and we're good to go so that's the mix covered today I'm going to stick you in time lapses. We'll have a time lapse, first one, and then I'll do a little interval halfway through. We'll have a look at the piece that we're doing, give you a little talk through on where we are, any tips and tricks, I'll let you know. And then I'll drop you in another time lapse. We'll run through that one, and then we'll do a little talk through at the end, look at the finished picture, and that'll be it for today. So I will stick you in the first time lapse. See you in a bit.
Right, a little break, and I'll give you a little talk through on how I did it and the way I went about it. Value eight again, guys, on this straight in, and I've added more textures to the skull and tweaked it a bit, and the original is very soft. So I've added the textures with the value eight, then I've darkened out the value eight and went in again. And you see me just blasting over, and then I was going, because you've got your darks, if you're going over the edges of your lines, it doesn't matter, because you can go in with the shields, with your darks, and you can just start sharpening it up, as I've done, going around. I've used the eraser for the scratch backs, and as you can see there, it just knocks that paint back, back to the board for the highlights, like that. Nice and easy, and you can just go, just start putting in your highlights like that. So to basically just working the colours in, using the shields. I'm having a quick look at the reference bro, and then I'm doing my own pieces to it. I've dusted a line around the outside. I'm going to black this, and then I'm going to put a bright candy blue glow round the skull popping out candy blue little bit of candy blue in the sunglasses and then we're going to do the smoke coming out the gun that's why i've left that till last because all the blacks behind it so the smoke sits on top and you'll just see this through as it goes up and we'll jet black the outside and have the glow of the candy coming out around the skull there so that's where we are i'll drop in another time lapse and we'll, we'll get this one done. There you go, there's the finished picture. I'll just give you a little talk through on how I finished this piece off. I've used a bit of transparent blue. I didn't use a candy blue, I just made my own transparent blue and used the high flow medium that you can get from Golden Acrylics and just thin that down to a transparent. Went in, put a glow around the edge and then we put some soft flame work coming up. We've dropped a lightning crackle through the sunglasses and just highlighted that with the Posca paint pen so we've got a nice crackle going through them. We've got the soft smoke coming out of the gun and then I did some textures to get the speckled textures. I literally just move the airbrush trigger back without the air and then just press the trigger and it will build the paint up at the end of the needle and just spit and then you just spitted the white paint around the edge to give it a bit of a texture, dropped a bit more blue in, and a few more highlights. And then for these like washed out drips that are coming down, basically got the white paint pen, built the paint up, put my finger on it, and then just dragged the paint down, and then it just looks like runs coming out, soft white runs coming out the sides of the skull, off the glasses, down the face, and on the teeth. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's been quite a long one. Um, the airbrush that I used, it was the Creos PS771. Used that throughout on this. We've used Golden High Flow Acrylics. I used the Value Scale, the pre-mix ones that I've got. I've used about three or four different ones. We've used the Posca paint pens, the eraser tool, and I've used a few shields, one of the ones with the circles cut out so it could get round the pieces of the gun. And that's it. 
So yeah, don't forget, if you're new to my channel, click that subscribe, press that notification so you don't miss out on any more up and coming videos on DreadFX Custom Paint. Big warm welcome to all the new subscribers. And thank you so much for all the comments, it's much appreciated. I'll get back to you straight away on the comments and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.